Hi, this is Dr. Scott Hoare, and today we are with Julia Taylor, who is a fitness model, and she's been dealing with a little bit of vertigo migraines mm -hmm. lately. Julia, why don't you just tell us a little bit about that? Okay, so I want to say it started about two weeks ago, and it's like a nonstop headache and like a dizziness feeling and everything. I just, I literally just want to like get up and go, and then once I get up, I'm like, oh, I'm dizzy, never mind, and I sit back down. I haven't fallen, but definitely I feel not all there. I feel kind of like absent in my own body, if that makes sense, and I feel pretty dizzy. I do feel like I'm going to like faint. And I'm like, what is going on with me? Make this stop. I went to the doctor, I got some medicine, but I still feel it a little bit there. And I personally don't like relying on medicine. What have you tried? I actually stopped working out for this past week. So I am taking some medicines that my, my primary doctor gave me. Okay. The one is helping, not to the full extent that I want, if that makes sense. And okay. then the other one, I didn't really like it. It does have some serious like side effects to it. So are you continuing to take that? The one, no, because okay. I had the side effect. But the other sure. one, yes, because it is supposed to help. So. so you've had to take a couple of weeks off of working out. Talk a little bit about that impact on you. I absolutely hate it. It drives me insane. Basically, I don't have any content to post. <laughs> I'm not really engaging with my followers as much, which sucks. I want to help them, teach them, and grow. Mm -hmm. It just, it makes me really upset because I can't do the th one thing I love and like love teaching, so. But you're also dealing with some low back pain, is that true? Low back and then hip. Low back comes and goes, but it's mainly when I stand for a prolonged period of time. And then my hip, I honestly don't squat anymore because of my hip. Okay, so we did a full examination. We took x-rays and we reviewed them. Uh, and now we're going to go into the chiropractic section. We did not see any contraindications to her getting manipulated or getting any treatment. The x-ray looked very clean. There were some imbalances that we talked about, but we'll be, we'll be looking in that and seeing what we can do to help improve. All right, so for right now, I'm just kind of feeling around. Okay. I'll let you know uh, what we're going to do before we do it. And you certainly have some tension in there, don't you? Yes. And now, so you've been to a chiropractor. Mm hmm And Once. One, just the one time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to start with is just some muscle treatments okay. and start loosening up some of these muscles because they're tight, aren't they? Mm-hmm. My neck always gets really tight. That's why I have the, like, forward pedal to a little bit. Yeah, yeah, right, okay. prefer shooting in the socks. <laughs> uh -huh. Wow. So I was just releasing some muscles mm -hmm. there in your upper cervical spine and obviously there was those pops so yeah. those joints really wanted to get released. So that's good. These are your scaling muscles right here, and they are just rock hard, aren't they? Yes. Oh, I told you that's why. I, yeah, you weren't joking. I tried to do like some stretches, but I need to honestly do them more because they are so tight. Well, we're going to give you some specific exercises to deal with your neck stability and control today. So that'll be some good stuff for you beyond just stretching. And another little restriction there. I feel it tight right there. Right there, isn't it? So that's yes. what I'm releasing. So what this is, this is called active release technique. And so I'm releasing some of those soft tissues, the muscles and tendons in there that are just beaten up from all these however many years you've been using this this altered posture to how you move. All right, good. Now I'm going to start feeling your joints. Okay. And it's a little bit better already because we had some of those nice releases. A little bit of restriction right there. All right, so now we'll do the, the adjustment part. So what I want to do is bring you right over here, and there will be a little sudden thrust, OK? OK. All right. Good. Drop your head. Good. Oh my Very God. good. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> it was scary? Did it hurt? No, not at all. It was just scary. It was so loud. Yeah. 
Okay, good. And now we'll go right on over here. I'm also doing the segments right at the top of mm -hmm. your neck, which they're so close to your ear, you know. All right, let that go. Okay. Very good. I'm going to give you a little yank here. Good. Okay. All right, good. So we got your upper cervical spine, those muscles that can easily cause and contribute to headaches, migraines, uh, that sort of thing. We got that going. Now I'm going to start a series of muscle tests mm -hmm. to tell me about other segments that might need treatment, okay? okay. It feels so loose. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> it feels nice, though. Yeah. It's like looser. Yeah. Good. All right. So make a fist. I'm going to push down into the table. Okay. Don't let me do that. Ready? Go. Again. Okay. So that's a little bit weak. So that's your crocobrachialis muscle, okay. which goes to right over here. Yep. All right. So we're going to see if we can't press a reset button on the segment where the nerve comes out of there so that you can get a little bit better function. Relax. Good. Hold it right there. Pushing down, don't let me go. And I don't think that was any stronger. So we're going to look at your AC joint right here, which is one of those places where you had a little bit of imbalance. Okay. Well, so we'll go right in there, and I'll press into it, okay? Okay. Good. Hold it right there. Fist. Pushing down, don't let me go. That helped. A little bit better. Good. Okay. Your thumb and your pinky, I'm going to pull them apart. Don't let me do that. Ready? Go. And again, now that you know what I'm doing, <laughs> there we go. keep them together. Ready, go. Not so good. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to adjust this segment right there. Let that go. Good. Hold it right there. Thumb and pinky pulling apart. Don't let me. Ready, go. Still a little bit weak. Okay. It was better, though. I'm going to look. Those nerves that were in that segment that we just adjusted, they also control your, your wrist and your, uh-huh, a little clicky, huh? Yeah. You have wrist issues? Um, oh, yes. gosh. So we're feeling it some hurt, shifting yes. and clicking here a little bit when we're feeling the motion of her joints. Good. Thumb pinky, pulling apart, ready, go. Still a little bit off, relax. Thumb pinky. Ready? Go. There we go. And now it's a little stronger. I'm going to pull your elbow out here towards me. Don't let me do that. Ready? Okay. Go. And again, pretty weak. That's your rhomboid muscle. Okay. All right. So we're going to do an adjustment underneath your rib cage. So you're going to put your right palm on your ear. I'm going to stick my thumb in your armpit. I'm going to wrap my hand around your shoulder blade. Okay. We're going to get your rib cage and shoulder girdle underneath your shoulder blade. Good. All right, so relax here, and I'm going to thrust down like that. Okay. Deep breath. Breathe on out. Oh. <laughs> Very good. You okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to pull your elbow out. Okay. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Again. Still a little bit weak, huh? I'm scared because my boots. <laughs> Yeah, you thought I was going to pop it or something? Yeah. <laughs> no, I went around it. No, like like pulling this way. You know what I mean? Oh. Okay. So let's make sure we're not going that way. So I'm pulling out like that. So okay. if you hit yourself, you're going to hit you right there. Right? Ready? Go. Yeah, that's stronger, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold it right there. I'm going to push out that way. Don't let me. Go. Weak. Pushing that way. Don't let me go. Weak. All right. So what that's indicating, relax is a little bit of dysfunction where your clavicle and your sternum meet, as well as a little bit of ribs. So I'm going to go grab right here, and I will do a little thrust, OK? okay. Good. Hold it right there. I'm pushing out. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Not good. That way. Ready? Go. Not good. OK, interesting. So now, just like I was doing muscle releases to your upper neck, I'm going to do that up here and see how is the function of your 
chest and shoulder muscles. I know my chest is really tight because I, was, I got movements under my muscle and before I was getting them done, I was told to do stretches by my by Jason mm -hmm. because it was so tight. Mm -hmm. So I did do that and it helped a lot, actually. So when, um, when I was first dating my, my wife, mm -hmm. he was, uh, she was working for Jason and my family is friends with him. That's why I call him that. Not to be weird, because I was like, I mean, I call him by his first name. You're probably like, what? Well, no. But, yeah, I call him by the same thing. Yeah, I know, but most people are like, it's a doctor. Right? Um, I just remember talking to her. But this is before we were dating or anything like that. And just telling her about how people get, whether it's breast augmentation or breast reconstruction, whether, you know, maybe it was mm -hmm. breast cancer, how jacked up these muscles get mm -hmm. and how much they really need care afterwards. And, and I don't think the majority of surgeons out there are aware that there's stuff to do beyond just stretching. Yeah. And we feel plenty of muscular tension in your pecs, pec minor, that we're releasing here. Oh, I bet you do. As weird as it sounds, I feel, I feel like my pulmaris longus. Like it's going all the way up there. Yeah. <laughs> nice little anatomy drop there. <laughs> That's where I felt it. So I was like, I, could, I know the muscle that it's, ow, that yeah. I feel it. Okay. Let's do that same muscle test. Hold it right okay. there. I'm pushing out. Don't let me go. And that way. Ready to go. Your pecs have a completely different strength, right? Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're finding dysfunctional imbalances and pressing a reset on. And after we press reset, we're going to go do some exercises okay. that really upload a better software so that you hold on to these newfound uh, changes. So that's good right there. Make a fist. Okay. I'm pushing down. Don't let me go. Pretty weak there. So we'll start right up here in the neck. Okay. Did that hurt too? No, it just feels really weird. Yeah. Good. Hold it right there. Pushing down. Don't let me go. Still a little weak. We'll get that AC joint up here as well. Okay. Good. Fist. Pushing down. Don't let me. Better, yeah? Thumb pinky. Pulling apart. Don't let me. <laughs> Same thing on this side. Thumb pinky, pulling apart. Ready, go. Much better. We'll do that elbow pulling out thing, like okay. that. Ready, go. Not so strong. Mm, that was worse. <laughs> yeah. All right, put your left palm in your ear. Good. I <laughs> like my left. Yeah. Okay. Relax your elbow. Breathe out. Oh. Good. Wow. Sometimes it feels good, sometimes it does not. All right, pull it out, don't let me. Ready, go. Stronger, good. Hold it right there, I'm pushing out. Don't let me. Ready, go. Not so much, pushing that way, don't let me. Not so much. So we'll see if the adjustments work on this side. If not, we'll have to go in and release, just like we did on the other side. Good. Hold it right there, pushing out, don't let me. Ready, go. Nothing. That way, don't let me. Nothing. Okay, we'll go and release those. Like you said, you've known your chest and shoulders were tight for a real long time. You feel these tight bands in there that I'm yeah. releasing? Pushing out, don't let me go. And that way, don't let me. So it's not strong, it's better. It's better. There's some tone in there. Let me see here. Straighten your hand, pulling it towards me like that. Don't let me do that. Ready, go. And not so strong. Okay, relax.
your bicipital tendon that controls your biceps, but it's part of your shoulder stability is mm -hmm. very tight. The long head or short head? It's before that. It's before they uh, Oh, bifurcate. just the tendon? Yeah. I got you. Good. Straighten your hand. Oh. Pulling towards me. Don't let me. Ready? Go. A little bit Hold better. On. Hold it right there. I'm pushing out. Don't let me go. And that way, don't let me. It's better. It's not perfect. Mm -hmm. So we'll check out your lower body here. And those hips. It's your right hip that mm -hmm. bothers you when you're doing squats. And yes. the left hip clearly doesn't internally rotate. No. Okay. All right. That's when it hurts. That's like when it hurts? When, like my right hip, when you do flexion and internal rotation, and it's like anterior where the pain is. When I do flexion and external, external rotation or internal rotation? Internal. Okay, got it. Internal rotation of the hip, external rotation of the, the knee. Yeah. So the left hip is a little bit restricted. I'm going to do a little adjustment here. Good. Good. And that opened it up a little bit. And that hurts. Mm -hmm. So we'll do a little manipulation there. Good. Okay, it probably didn't feel good, but how does it feel right now? Better. Less bad. It feels like it clicks a little bit still, though. Yeah. Okay. Muscle test, pushing down like that. Okay. Don't let me. Ready? Go. Okay, other side. Pushing there, don't let me. Go. A lot stronger, huh? Okay, let's turn you on your side. We're going to do a manipulation. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it already went. Okay, lay on your back. Muscle test. So I'm going to push okay. down like that. Don't let me. Ready? Go. A lot better. Way stronger, huh? And did, it, did you feel the discomfort in your hip during that muscle test? No, not at all. Good. How about... Still a little bit there? So I don't feel it, but it's definitely limited. Let me tell that. Okay. We're going to muscle test where I push down and out. Don't let me. Ready? Go. A little bit weak there. Down and out. Don't let me. Definitely weak there. All right. Turn on your side. Face this way. Right in here. <laughs> That's ready to go, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Lay your back. Muscle test. Pushing down and out. Don't let me go. Much better. Down and out. Don't let me. Ready. Go. Much better, huh? All right. Good. Is that irritation in the back of your heel? Is that from high heels or something? Oh, no. I cut my foot. I was shutting the door and I shut the door on my foot and it scraped the bottom of my That was fun. Oh, it hurt so bad. I'm going to do a little adjustment where I kind of yank you here. Can you hold on to the table? That's perfect. Good. And then we'll do that over here. Try to relax. Yeah. Okay. All right, Julia. So I think the chiropractic adjustment went really well. Uh, and now what we're going to do is some progressive rehabilitation exercises to change your movement patterns. Specifically, I think we're going to focus on your neck, given your recent history of these uh, vertigo migraine headaches, as well as a little bit of hip stuff to deal with stabilizing your hip with your lower back. Okay. What did you think about the, the cervical spine exercise we had you do, where you were engaging your stabilizing muscles and then starting to actually flex your neck? I thought that was really cool, just because like I didn't realize how many muscles you had to activate, stabilize, basically, mm -hmm. just to do like the simple thing and like. Yeah. I've known that basically muscles like to work together. They don't like to be isolated. Yeah. It's more beneficial to do basically compound movements rather than isolation, but add in some isolation. Sure. And just because your body likes to work as a whole and work a bunch of muscles, mm -hmm. I had to use everything else just to simply yeah. lift my neck up. Well, the other thing is what you want is when you move your body, you want the stabilizing muscles and forces to fire first. Yeah. And then the movement areas to move second. But what happens is we screw that up due to poor posture, due to injuries, due to phones, phones you know, you name it. Exactly. So what we did is that. we turned on those stabilizing for, uh, forces first and then had you move 
And the more you do that exercise, the more that's going to be your automatic muscle memory where you yeah. don't have to think about turning on uh, stabilizing muscles when you move your neck. What did you think about the single leg glute bridge exercise where we're we were doing the same sort of formula where we engaged stabilizing forces first and then had you extend through your hips. I thought that was pretty unique just because I do so much glute movements. I'm like, oh, my glutes are like stable. My glutes are basically strong. They weren't at all. Were I they? know. No, because typically I'm doing a lot of weight, but I'm not activating those stabilized muscles. No, could you feel or tell a difference when you held that weight that your hips were more stable? Yeah, my upper body felt more, I want to say like locked down. When I didn't have the weight, my upper body was moving, which made my like lower body unstable, so it would move. But when I was like, when I had the weight, it almost felt like someone was like holding my upper body or my upper body was like locked down so that I could shift a little bit more and control it with my lower body. Okay, so that's our treatment today. So Julia, mm -hmm. how did that go for you? Uh, really well, actually. I don't feel dizzy at all anymore, which is amazing. I definitely feel like looser, if that's not weird. I really want to go to the gym now, but I already know this is going to make me sore too, because a lot of people don't talk about that, but they do say chiropractic makes you sore from just your body's not used to the adjustments. And yeah. It's putting your body into a new movement which is better for your body so your body's sore from it right all those segments that we just got moving are not used to moving so mm -hmm. it's going to be a shock to the to your body exactly. system but definitely feel a lot better many times when our neck does not have ideal function and movement uh whether it was because of a long history of poor posture or abnormal shoulder movement or whatever it is can put weird stresses on your neck which can impact and, and contribute to migraines or headaches. Was this scary for you? No. No? Some of the things I was like, oh wow, I didn't expect it to like kind of be like that, but like with my neck, because yeah. I think a lot of people get scared with the whole neck because it's do. scary if you yeah. were to go to someone basically that has no idea what they're doing, then it could be scary because one wrong turn, <laughs> <laughs> something's messed up. Sure, sure. But it's when you go to someone you trust, it's Really good. I'm glad you're feeling better after the adjustment and you certainly have some things to work on that mm -hmm. I think will have a positive impact on, on you and your life and your career going forward. Don't be a stranger. We're always here to, to help you okay. if you ever are in need of anything. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and leave a comment for us if you have any questions or, or comments for us. And then I'll look forward to our next treatment Tuesday next week, which is going to be with your friend Madison Rose, a mm -hmm. uh, fitness model. So tune in for that. Thanks so much.